Flybees, welcome back to the Fun with Fly Barb channel. A lot has been going on since the last time I posted, and I know it's been a long time since I posted, but I've been thinking about taking a step back from vlogging. Partially because I feel like you have outsiders, you know, who could just wish ill on you and you just let. I don't want to say uh, strangers, but everybody is not a fan. It's letting people into your life. And you just never know what people's true intentions are. So I've been really thinking about taking a step back. Or maybe taking a different direction outside of vlogging. I went back and forth for a minute about if I should or shouldn't post this vlog. But since I promised it to y'all... I wanted to go ahead and get it out there. And I know it's taking a long time for me to finally get it out here. But here we are, and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It's gonna pretty much be me doing a lot of uh, talking up the video because I was just recording moments as I got them. You gonna make a This was definitely the start of something new. Uh, at this moment, I was probably just taking it all in. Uh, you know, thinking about how much time I was going to end up spending out here and being away from my kids. Talk to him. You got a lot of time. I ain't finding up, bro. This is it. This is it. This is Big Gates right private here. Private first class. Big Gates. And I am Special Assistant. And we are out here about to do inventory of some sort. Uh, welcome to the Army. We've been bushing around all day long. Now it's time Hurry to do some work. Wait, basically. Hurry up and wait, facts. <laughs> So basically, you know, we in the middle of the desert, sleeping in tents on cots. And I didn't have a mirror, and I started noticing my color changing. And I really was just taking it all in. Like, we really in a, a damn desert. Like, this is my life right now. Believe what happened to me out there? Just look at my little, it swelled up like a goddamn <laughs> smoked sausage. I can believe it happened to me. This is our sleeping area, the tents under a tent. This was my personal sleeping area. This is me inside of the tent. And this is where I found myself a lot during the day, hiding in my damn tent. Just chilling. You taking it all in. I know it took me a long time to post this vlog, but this is one of the reasons. My skin was so ugly out there, my lip. I was so ugly, I couldn't believe it. I had never looked like that, and it's just been taking me a while. Look, that Sergeant Whedon, I had a ball with that man. He made uh, the driving of the trucks uh, less stressful. He made me feel more confident out there.
One thing about me when it comes to the military, I'm always on dirt. I don't I think I guess I didn't have a, a head gear that day and was in a tent. Oh, I was in the tent. It was nothing but air. I was so happy to not have to go out and do what everybody else was doing. Baby, it's the ghetto in the hood for me. Cause these clothes see now drying out the good hand wash with dial soap and water in the cook. Baby, this was probably the worst two and a half weeks of my life. Not bathing, not taking a real bath or a shower and just out there trying to moisturize and stay clean and take baths out of a damn canteen cook. Uh, these are my battle buddies. They're playing cards or something. I don't know. I used to always run to the side because I really do enjoy being alone. But, um, you know, when I'm a little in that space, I got to know my battle buddies a little more. I started to like the army a little bit because, I don't know, I never just really had talked to them before going now. So this was like a, what you can say, teamwork thing or something. I don't know. I don't know how to see it. This is the worst of the worst right here, baby. Using porta potties for what, 29 days? Cause they don't count. Well, the first day we was able to, let's say the first two days, we was able to use real bathrooms. But you gotta pump the water from the inside of the thing. And I guess it goes out to the ground or something. I don't know, this shit was horrendous actually. Nothing about the military is glamorous. And I think that was my number one mistake, trying to do it for the uh, uniform and look cute. Yeah, one more. Yeah, one more. So on this day, we was doing a casualty exercise where they attacked us uh, with gas, the ops, you can say. And by me not having the gas mask, I was uh, picked to be a casualty. And they was gathering us up or whatever. Man, that shit burned so fucking bad. It was like real gas. My eyes was burning. I was choking, coughing. I thought I was about to die. This shit ain't no joke. This was just another uh, exercise. Us riding around in the little casualty uh, tank or whatever. Still sneezing. SCS gas is no joke. So you had a few people who was out there uh, getting hurt for real, you know. And that's why you see one of the choppers out there. This is one of the little areas that we worked in. We was helping another platoon because they were really short staffed. So what you see me doing is putting my tent together where well, I took my uh, all of my gear out first so I could get a look comfortable, which I know such things getting comfortable in a dirty ass environment. Um, You see the cot and then you got the tent on top of there. I'm going to take some time and reflect as I put this tent together because it uh, I don't, I haven't cut through the video or whatever. And I mean, I just, I don't really 
I'm still learning this uh, editing software. And, you know, I took a break out from um, posting vlogs or whatever because, shit, I've been going through some real life stuff. You know, we all been going through a little stuff. We got the um, the Mercury retrograde going on. And that mother, man, I, if I never believed in the Mercury retrograde, re retrograde, however you say this shit. I believe in it now. That motherfucker been attacking me, and all I've been doing is stand pray up. If you could see, like in the beginning of the video, I had like a little uh, spot or knot between, like at the top of my forehead. Like I was in the wreck probably like two to three days prior before I left, so my headspace wasn't exactly in the right place or whatever. So, like I said, like I since I touched thirty. I've been just trying to find the balance and just get myself together because I want my kids to be straight. Like, I'm not promised to my kids, and this I know, you know, life is really short. And I just want my kids to be straight uh, in life and even after life. This is some of the food that we ate. This is like dinner, lunch or dinner. This is the breakfast. This is probably why my belly is so flat now. And I'm really trying to pick my way back up. So, yeah. If you don't do anything in the military, like, um, some stuff like that, you're going to lose weight. Because you're not eating what your body is used to. This is me actually, uh, my first time being comfortable. Look at my hand. If you notice, well, if you really know me, then you know, like, the darkest thing on me is my hands. And it comes from the military. I think this, like, come from overuse or something of the hands. But them motherfuckers ashy or whatever. But, yeah, this is me. Happy that I can finally, you know, drive the trucks and I'm comfortable. Because I swear I put up a fight for, like, two weeks telling them that I wasn't comfortable. Like, I don't like driving as it is. And driving those big old trucks just really don't make it any better. But I guess I was feeling myself on this day, huh? <laughs> I know y'all judging me, but join the military and get in the field and think it's glamorous and pretty if you want to. Everybody be out there ugly. You see my lips been white, face crusty. Nothing about it is glamorous. And inbox me or write me if you want me to respond to you. I give honest, my honest feedback on the military. I'm a, um refrain from doing it on here, but yeah. Y'all, so this is the first time I've been able to talk to y'all outside of all of the noise and people. I'm super tan and I'm dirty as fuck. And we have eight days in the way to go. That shit is Oh, right now, shit, I'm sorry. Right now, I'm sitting in the motor pool. Charging my phone. It's like the fucking survival of the fitness here. Look at my brain. This is a very, very, very raw vlog. I mean, yeah. my lips are fucked up. And look at my dark hair. I gotta do that with me. I'm on the road to see my fucking kids and on the road to get in a new car. So, the last time I talked to y'all, I was planning to do a lot of things, a lot of things. But, you know, this stuff has been, it's taking a detour. And it was just life happening. But y'all just stay tuned. We're about to be out the desert in a minute. And I got more to share with you guys once I get home. I love y'all. Abby. So this is our first day out of the desert and into the tent. 
and into AC, real AC. I'm really just taking it all in, you know, seeing that. And just like most times, I'm reflecting and in deep thought, I'm an overthinker, so. If you catch me staring in, staring into space, then I'm probably overthinking about something. Uh, I'm definitely reflecting on this experience, though. I think for the most part, I just really be like, damn, I really did this shit. <laughs> I'm really doing this shit. Three and a half years in. Man, I'm definitely not resigning. <laughs> I think... Because my initial plan was to uh, have like a 20 year career. But uh, yeah, I don't know about that now. Y'all, yeah, I was so happy to finally have some beer food. These are the people y'all trust. <laughs> We really out here, man. We really out here in the middle of the desert in a car wash. I cannot express how intimate <laughs> and up close and personal vlogging can be. Like, you really allowing others into your personal space. You don't get to live in the moment. And that's one of the things. Like, I started to record everything. And I just was like, I can't even live in the moment because I'm worried about vlogging. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I'm just, I'm not fond of it. And I do want to take a different direction and maybe just like still do YouTube, but like with a different approach. So we're coming to the close of this video. You guys can like it and leave me feedback. Subscribe. And until next time.